So we've got another Asian dish on the menu and it's focused around these beautiful green beans. We're going to wok fry them, char them, they're going to be nice and crunchy, full of flavour and then we've got this beautiful tasty sauce and a little bit of minced pork which we had left over in the fridge. Great to have you with us in the Vico Kitchen for another inspired Asian dish this week and I guess the beauty with these dishes that you're sharing is that they are relatively quick and easy to prepare and full of flavour and well done because we're using the food that you might have left over from yesterday's dish. Exactly and you know and you can do this and uh, you know like yesterday's dish as well you know we're adding pork to it but you don't need to if you want to keep it vegetarian just you know omit the pork omit the pork but keep it in today because I like my meat okay but, yeah and, uh, th and this is another sort of like you know classic Asian dish right it's really good you know you and these beautiful green beans and you know if you look at the recipes over the last couple of weeks like the Asian recipes there are mm. a lot of you know, there are a lot of sort of small dishes, fast dishes, full of flavour, and they all can be added together to make a huge banquet. Oh, yum! We should do that one day. Yeah, that sounds good. And can I say thanks to everybody that sends us messages on Facebook, um, just to say that they love the cooking, and they try a lot of it, so take photos if you try it and put it on our Facebook page, really appreciate it. Okay, Mark, so they were making a joke earlier about how it's going to burn some beans, <laughs> something I'm probably very good at. Well, actually, that's what we want to do. We want to char them, so sort of technically well <laughs> burns a bit of a strong word <laughs> char, char so we, right. but we do we do want that color so we've got a wok on over here so yes. we're going to get it really hot mm -hmm. what i'm going to do to the beans now is um just take the top parts off so this is sort of well it's not topping and tailing if you top and tail you're taking the other part off so you're just taking the tops off okay so that's all we want to do that's where it's attached to the plant you know that's a bit chewy so take that off the other side's fine and then I'm going to cut them, depending on the size of your bean, you know, you can cut them in half just on an angle or you can cut them into three, whatever you want. But, you know, nice sort of like bite-sized pieces. And we're not going to blanch these beans um, first. We're right. just going to cook them all in the pan. So, okay. so that gives us extra amount of time in the pan with contact with the beans so we can get that charred um, nice. colour on there. And that's going to give us flavour because colour gives us flavour. Okay, nice. Why don't you chop the other end off them off? Well, we you can, don't need to. Well, no, it's just a waste, isn't it's it? It's a waste. Okay, no, we, don't. we can eat that. Only a little, it's a little frilly bit. <laughs> well, you don't, want to, you don't want to eat that You part. don't want to eat the stalk, but you don't mind the little frilly bit. Yeah. The bum. yeah. Okay, cool. All about presentation. Nice. And you cut them on an angle. Is that, is, is that just because yeah, you It makes them taste better. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. You don't need to. You can cut them straight you can cut them if straight. you really okay, want. Good. Right, so a little bit of peanut oil. Yes. That yum. goes in. Gives us an extra bit of flavour. Oh, yeah, Look at that. You see that smoke? Is that what That's we want? what we want. We want it nice and hot. Beans okay, go in. Good. So you can, you can uh, hear that straight away, the sizzling. You know, we want that heat, we need that heat to get them charred. If we haven't got that heat, we're going to cook them and they're going to be cooked before the coloured. Okay, another okay. question for yeah. you then, since we're doing this. Do I move them around because we're trying to burn them or should I just leave them? No, no, we want to stir fry them. Okay, there's cool. there's going to be enough, um, there's going to be enough heat in there to sort of, I mean, you don't need to do it all the time. Right. <laughs> you know, but every now and again, sort of stir them. <laughs> okay, so. great. Oh, I see, because we're getting some char marks already. Yeah, yeah, you, so, like, you know, like, it's, yeah. it's so hot, we are going to get that colour. So, okay, yeah, already yeah. you can see that. So, every now and again, turn them around. But obviously, don't walk away and, uh, you know, go and answer the phone or send an email right. or anything. Well, that peanut oil smells good with the beans too, doesn't it? Exactly, nice. you know, it works really well with the beans. Just an extra little bit of flavour. I mean, if you haven't got peanut oil or you're allergic to it, you know, just use a, a normal oil, you know, that's fine. It's still okay, going to work. Um, and then what I'm going to do now is just get, get ready and chop some other things for the next stage of it. So this is the first part of it. Get your beans in there, get some colour in there, and then we're going to take our beans out. Okay, nice. Good work. And what do you got there going? You got right, some garlic, gonna, some ginger. Uh, yeah. Pretty classic in an Asian dish. Oh yeah, yeah usual ingredients. Um, garlic, ginger, you know, we've got a little bit of chilli in there you can put in. Uh, some onion as well and then we've got some nice ingredients here which we're going to make a quick sauce and that's going to go in at the very end. So I'm going to show you that a little bit later. Okay, nice. Okay. So you're happy with these beans? Yep, keep you going, keep more? going. Yep. Okay, great. So you want to probably stir fry them for like two, three minutes, get some nice colour on there. You still want a nice crunch through the bean, okay? Okay, great. You don't want to overcook them. And what are you doing during the school holidays, Mark? I guess uh, at least one of your girls will have a bit of time off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're both off at the moment. Oh, so, trouble. Uh, <laughs> trouble and paralyzed. Yeah, yeah. Well, not for me, because I don't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to take some days off, and, uh, and then we are going to take them out. Hit them nice. to the zoo. Might bring them to the show next week. 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Bring your kids to work. That's what happens over the holidays, isn't it? I was thinking the other day, this is quite interesting, I was thinking the other day, I can't remember whether we had a babysitter when Mum and Dad went to work when I was young. Did you, did you go to work? No, 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 I didn't go to work. I just don't think we had a babysitter. <laughs> Am I dobbing Mum and Dad in? Well, it's a southern way to raise kids. Oh, they'll be right, mate. They'll look after themselves. Toughen them up. Okay, nice. Speaking of toughening up, these are charred nicely, and I think they're not going to be tough anymore. They're going to be beautiful. <laughs> softening, not softening. That's right, the opposite to toughening. Right now, though, back in the Beko kitchen, I've charred the beans. Are they good? Yeah, no, really good. Nice. So, oh, so we smoky. Tip, tip the beans out, yep. get the wok hot again, a um, little splash more oil if you need it, and then put the uh, pork mince in. Okay, cool. And stir fry that, same yep. as you did yesterday. Break it down as you go in. But if you just have a look at these beans, you can see you've got some nice colour on there. You know, they're still nice and green, and if you sort of snap them or you try them, they've still got a nice crunch to it. Yeah, and a little bit of peanut oil they were cooked in, which gives yeah. them just a nice little hint of Just a little flavor. bit more flavour. It's nice. So nice high heat on here. So we want to brown the mince, break it up, and then what I've got here now is a little bit of onion. Yep. That's going to go in now as well. So just finely chop everything and it just cooks really fast. And then we need some aromatics. So I've got some garlic. Nice. That's going in. And some ginger. And we'll just stir fry that for a couple of minutes. You know, keep it on a high heat. You always want to hear that sizzle. You know, if you lose that sizzle, your best thing to do, take it out, warm your pan up again so you've got that constant sizzle going through. Oh, I guess you take it out. Yeah, you sort of start again. Okay, good. A uh, little bit of chilli goes in there. Um, I know Mike loves chilli, so we put it in <laughs> here. <Yeah>, that's right. <laughs> no, I, you know, yesterday your dish, that Sichuan dish, mm -hmm. that was really good, by the way. You know, because we, we can't eat it at the end of the show because we need to take some photos for Facebook. So then we try it afterwards, <laughs> and boy, it was so good. Not as hot as I thought, so thank you for that, Mark. Flavour. Flavour, that's Flavor, right. Flavour, not heat. It had but a little kick, bit of heat. But it had some taste, too. I tell you, you go. And it, you know, the good thing about pork mince as well, you know, it's full of flavour, uh, you know, when you're matching it with vegetables, but it cooks really, really fast, you know. Nice. So you can see it's just been, you know, a couple of minutes in the pan, you've broken it up, you know, it's Browning nearly cooked down. there. Yeah, and what have you got on the board there? Right, so now we've got some sauce ingredients. Yeah. So I've got a chilli and garlic paste. Okay. Just a, an, an Asian one, so that's just out of the jar, you know. Real good flavour maker. Spoon of that goes in there. I've got some of the uh, Chinese cooking wine, so that gives a nice mm. flavour. Yep. Keep glazed with that. A little bit of soy sauce, a pinch of sugar, just to sort of balance those flavours out. Okay. And this is an optional extra, which I've just found in the cupboard. So Ooh. this is a, the Chinese black vinegar. And, you know, it's, I love this ingredient. It's, it's a really weird flavour. That's going to go in there. Oh, you can gives it a nice have a, smell. Have a try. But it's just really dark and oh, yeah. treacly and, and sweet and sour. But that with beans and the pork is just great. You don't that's have to really put that in, but I really like that. Yeah, it's really interesting. That okay, goes cool. in there. It's still on a high heat, so that's sort of... All those sauces are reducing down and going into that pork. Ooh, and she's then smelling good. Beans go back in. Nice. Give it a good toss around. Yep. And that is pretty much done. If all the liquid goes off, you can little splash of water. You see, you've got a little bit of um, liquid left in there, so it just sort of coats and glazes. And that's pretty much it. That's nice how work. fast it is. And you try that and tell me what you think. Oh, it's going to be delicious, I am sure. Okay, cool. Get a little bit in here. Yum, yum, yum. Mmm. That is beautiful. Oh, yeah, it's got a little kick to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, good. That is beautiful. My favourite so far this week, Mark. Thank you. I swear. Very good. Okay, cool. It's going to be delicious, of course, and you can get the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. Are you happy with your charred beans? I am very happy with the charred beans. Just the right amount of colour, Mike. That's really good. Good. Thank Perfect you. Perfect recipe yeah. for you. Nice. Full of, <laughs> yeah, full of flavour, and that black vinegar is, uh, that's probably the star ingredient on this. Don't try something yeah, before. Yeah, certainly do. Thank you. Um, okay, while we try it, what are you doing tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we're going Mexican. We've got enchiladas.